In efforts to tackle the current security challenges facing the country, no fewer than 286 officers of the Nigerian Army are taking part in the 2023 Captain to Major Practical Examination. While addressing candidates, the training commander, Major General Kelvin Aligbe, warned against any form of cheating and examination of practices, saying that officers' court will be dismissed. Captain Television's Jumoke Adebari has more. 186 officers of the Nigerian Army have taken part in the 2023 Captain to Major Practical Examination to test their proficiency for higher responsibilities, especially in the face of the current security challenges facing the country. Addressing candidates and officers in Abiyokuta, Ogun State Capital, the Commander Training and Doctrine Command of the Nigerian Army, Major General Kelvin Aligbe said, Officers would be assessed in the areas of mental and physical fitness, communications, logical reasoning, among others. Your career. We are all aware that the aim of this examination is to evaluate the proficiency of this category of officers and develop their junior leadership capabilities for higher responsibilities in the Nigerian Army. Likewise, it is also meant to broaden the candidate's knowledge and understanding of various aspects of military operations with emphasis on counterterrorism and counterinsurgency operations, intense security operations, and hybrid operations based on the current security challenges facing our nation. This the secu these security challenges necessitated the Nigerian Army to deploy for internal security operations virtually in all the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Hence, the relevance of this examination towards building capacity for junior leadership in order to achieve national security objectives cannot be overemphasized. Therefore, I would like to state that your performance in the examination is a key determinant of progress in your career, and it is important you all put in seriousness and determination to excel. Addressing the officers, the Commander General Kelvin Aligbe highlighted the examination areas, which includes global challenge of terrorism and insurgency, effective communication, logical reasoning, map reading, among others. An officer is expected to be totally fit for war. Total fitness for war includes technical fitness, mental, emotional fitness, and physical fitness. All these attributes of total military fitness must be combined in a well-trained officer. If any is lacking, the officer's combat effectiveness suffers proportionately. Without technical fitness, an officer lacks the knowledge and skill to fight. Without mental and emotional fitness, he lacks incentive and desire to fight. Without physical fitness, he lacks the strength and stamina to fight. In the, in the past, practical promotion examination emphasis were on technical and mental fitness, leaving out the physical fitness test. Nonetheless, the Chief of Army staff has always recognized that the effectiveness of fighting men depends to a large degree on their physical condition. The Chief of Army staff also recognizes that in war, great premium is placed on the strength, stamina, agility, and condition of soldiers because victory and their lives are so often dependent on them. And the maximum score is 100. I don't know how many marks each of you has gotten so far because you have put this one behind you. Now, requirements for the award of pass in the examination. As you all know, this examination will be used to assess your present level of proficiency and will also serve as an entry requirement into the next junior staff course at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College or affiliated and approved courses around the world. The final selection to the Armed Forces Command and Staff College will be in order of merit and according to the slots allocated to the Department of Land Warfare. In order to be assessed as passed for this examination, 
a candidate must score a minimum of 50% in all subjects. I repeat, in order to be assessed as pass for this examination, a candidate must score a minimum of 50% in all subjects, with a minimum aggregate of 60% overall. Any candidate that scores less than 50% in any subject will fail that subject. Please note that failure of one subject is as good as failing all subjects because there is no referral in practical examination. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have to warn here that the candidate stands disqualified from this examination if caught cheating or indulging in any manner of examination malpractice as highlighted in the Nigerian Mid Charter for Promotion Examination 2022 revised. In order to remove any ambiguity, I have authorized the following security measures for strict compliance by all. No candidate is allowed to visit members of the examination panel and directing staff accommodation area. To be qualified and promoted from the current rank of captain to major, officers must score 50% in all subjects and 60% overall aggregate. From Abiyukuta, Jumoke Adebare, reporting for Captain Television News.